Okay, with the wings swept out, we have aileron, we have elevator, we have rudder, we have flaps, and wing sweep. And the flaps are disabled, so probably hard to tell. You can see the elevator's moving just a little bit for the compensation for flaps, but the flaps themselves are not moving. Okay. Uh, and then if we open it back up. Now, if we happen to have the flaps in, and we go to wing sweep mode, watch what happens to the flaps. They snap back into place before the wing sweeps. So that's the programming uh, that we have for the F-14. So the F-14, when the wings are swept out, when the wings are swept out, then the, um, uh, elevator acts as a regular elevator and the ailerons act as regular ailerons when the wings are swept in. Then the uh, elevator works with the flaps. The flaps are still enabled. Um, I have flown the uh, Arctech F-14 uh, with the wings swept back like this with the aileron still engaged uh, along with the... Um, uh, the ailerons, okay, uh, and it seemed to fly okay. Uh, I haven't flown this yet, but uh, that's what I'm going to try with first because I wanted to. Uh, I wasn't real comfortable flying uh, in the normal mode uh, with the elevators acting as ailerons. So we'll go through the programming uh, to set this up uh, in just a second. Okay, let's start with the programming here. So starting with the the uh, channel or port assignments, okay? Um, I've got the, uh, you know, throttle in one. Uh, aileron is just regular aileron, okay? We're not touching that, okay? The elevator is what we are touching uh, for that uh, turning off that ailerons function that you get normally okay so basically uh, I've took and taken the uh, right and left uh, servo leads and I put them in separate channels so you'll see the right one in channel three we've got rudder and four gear and five flaps is six and then the left elevator is in seven and then I put the wing sweep on uh, channel eight so that's that's the port assignments that we'll be working with um, the wing sweep is uh, auxiliary three, okay, and this is for a DX nine, okay. So let's let's go through the the programming here. On the servo setup, uh, let's see, it, the travel is all unchanged. The subnet trim. So let me let me start with. Some of the programming here was coming from uh, a, a setup that uh, Chris, the RC Geek guy, uh, had posted. Uh, so he had an uh, F-14 uh, setup that you could download. And I downloaded it to um, my transmitter here and started working with that, mainly to get the, um, uh, the, the disable of, of the um, flaps during the wing sweep, okay, which is what I was looking for. So... There's a couple things in here that I haven't changed uh, from that setup uh, because I'm still not quite sure exactly how that uh, how that how those flaps get disabled like they do uh, when you do the wing sweep. So uh, a couple of things here I haven't I haven't changed. They they haven't uh, impacted um, the the settings here. This uh, uh, aileron setting here. Uh, that might have just been some trim that they had had in, in that model. And so I may eventually go turn that off to zero. So I don't think that has any impact there. Okay. Um, 
the reversing here now obviously your your miles may vary but this is the reversing that i have right now okay and that's it okay so let's go back um i won't go through the um uh dual rights or expo let's see what else flap system okay so in my case um i i had to switch it uh in their original um model programming it was almost the reverse of this but it didn't seem to work for, for me so i had to go back and switch it to this so you can see what that that programming is there and i assigned that to the to the c switch okay on mine um if we go back here uh let me i'll i'll come back to mixing okay uh let me see what else we got here So the aircraft type, it's one aileron, one flap, and dual elevator. Okay. Uh, let's see. Channel assign. So <clears throat> basically, I've got the gear on the A switch back here. Uh, I've got, I'm using a, a, a safe uh, Spectrum safe, uh, safe and AS3X receiver. Um, I put that on all the jets, um, so that, uh, you know, I can have a, uh, a, a get out of jail card basically with this switch. If I get inverted and headed straight down, I can flip the switch and turn safe on, but primarily I fly with just AS3X, but I always have that safe on there just so I can flip that switch and get the plane leveled, uh, and get myself out of trouble. So anyways, that's what's on the, um, the B switch there. Um, the D switch is the wing sweep. Okay. Uh, that's what I signed. There was the, the, the wing sweep. I, I wish I had another two position switch on the DX nine, but, but I don't. So I'm having to use a three position switch. Okay. All right. And then the other interesting bit is, is on the, the, um, port assignments. Okay. So <clears throat> you can see that one and two are normal. And then on port three, which is normal elevator, I put the right elevator, uh, rudder, gear, flaps, so those are standard. Port 7 is the left elevator. And then uh, 8 here is the wing sweep, so it's auxiliary 3. Okay, uh, and I think, uh, yeah. So it's auxiliary 3, so we'll see that in uh, some of the programming. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's back up. What else do we need here? think that was it and now we'll go back to the uh, the mix mixing okay all right mixing here so we've got uh here the first one is the aileron to um elevator okay and all this does is that with the wing with the um, wing swept, okay, uh, basically this one here, on number three here, with the wing swept, then the um, the elevator, elevators, uh, both sides of the elevator will uh, mimic uh, what the um, aileron is doing, okay? So that's what this one is for. This is with the wing swept, get your elevator to act as uh, aileron. So this gives you the aileron function, okay? Uh, and then, uh, let me let me go back there. So it's only only when we're in that number three position. For the other two positions, it doesn't do anything. Speed okay. Mode. So. Mode. <clears throat> Actually, let me back that up. <laughs> it's the dark square is when it's enabled. So now you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that the elevator. Uh, is moving uh, along with the ailerons. Okay, so it's a dark square. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, let me put him back out. Okay, and then uh, this is also F mode. So F mode and the D switch are essentially the same thing. Okay, all right, so on this one, we're tying the elevator uh, signal to the left elevator. So basically we're just making the left elevator function, uh, left elevator function as an elevator. Okay. Uh, and that's all this is doing. And it's always, always on. 
always set on. Uh, here's the right one, okay? Uh, the right elevator uh, is, is functioning as an elevator. It's always on. The This number three is not used, and number four, okay? So this is where the magic happens, and to be honest, I'm not quite sure how it happens, okay? Um, but basically, the way this works is that the flap is driving the flap. So what we're commanding is the, the flaps themselves, okay? And the rates here of minus 100 uh, and, and the offset also being set, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure exactly why or why it's set like that or why it works, but it does work, okay? And so um, the other bit is the flight mode. So this flap, enabling or disabling the flap, is tied to the flight mode, which the flight mode is that, that D, the sweep, sweep switch, okay? And um, this is enabled when we are in the swept position. So you see the number one is black. So this, this function or this, yeah, this programming is enabled when we're in the, um, uh, the switches in the top position. Okay, how it does this, again, I'm not quite sure, but uh, as we go there, when you hit the flap, all we see is the elevator moving. Okay, we don't see uh, anything else moving. Okay, um, and that's, that's it. Okay, that, that gets the programming.